Um, I would say no. No. Yeah, I would say no. no. I do know she had um, like a broken knee at one point, but I doubt she got a metal implant. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, any questions for me at this time? Um, um how how is um, the fever, sir? Um, so she's still having a little bit of fevers. Um, she had a 100.7 last night. Um, we've given her a lot of antibiotics uh, already. So we talked to our infectious disease specialists and they had recommended um, stopping the antibiotics and kind of see, um, and kind of see, and kind of just watch her um, because all, all the blood work that we sent, um, and all the tests that we've done haven't really shown that there is like an active infection. Well, um, what do you think might be causing the fevers? It's very odd. Yeah. So a lot of times, um, especially in somebody who's had um, a bleed or a stroke in the head, um, sometimes the brain itself uh, might be um, telling the body to mount like a fever response. Um, and then that's what we call a central fever. Um, so it's not it's not uncommon in this case. I understand, doctor. Um, do you think this is going to cause for her to need more blood? Um, because we just had to do a transfusion, right, and, right, and, and we're worried, right. like what could be causing her to lose blood? Right. So so far, we're checking her blood levels every day, and she um, has not required. Um, they haven't dropped so low um, that she's required another transfusion. Okay, but but it is something that could be typ typical in her situation. Um, the fevers. Um, um, the loss of blood and needing more transfusions. So I think um, I think if we if we see another major drop, um, again, like, um, that's another that's another reason why we um, wanted to the. Uh, um, the study, sorry, the, the studies that we've um, done so far haven't really revealed like any major source of bleeding, and we have personally haven't seen any bleeding from whether that's from her from her mouth or um, in her stool. Um, but something we'll keep checking every day. Yeah, I'm just wondering because I didn't even know about the first transfusion. Um, mm -hmm. They told me that they had one in the previously, and that was the first time it was mentioned now that they had to give her another transfusion. Right. And, right. you know, I'm hoping that she's not having internal bleeding somewhere, and we're just yeah. not finding it. Yeah. Um, so far, we haven't seen any, but we'll, you know, we're definitely on top of it and monitoring that every day. I appreciate that, doctor. I appreciate everything you and your team are doing. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Let me see if my, do you have any other questions, Angela? Uh, I a quick question i know you you said that they were gonna do something um i believe with the heart because of they want to check like to see if there's blood clots or anything i just wanted to understand that a little bit better um so it's not with the heart it's with the lungs, oh, the lungs. um okay. because in a lot of uh, for whatever reason we've also seen in covid patients um they have a tendency to develop cl blood clots mm -hmm. um and so we're scanning her lungs because, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's one of the potential places that the blood clots may be forming. But, do you think, um, but why do you think her heart rate is high? Is that why? The same blood clot? Yeah, that's, that's why. Because her heart rate has been high for a while. Um, and one of the re um, that can, that's, um, that's one of the things that we see if somebody has blood clots in their lungs. Um, mm -hmm. so we want to make sure, uh, we want to make sure that that's not happening there. All right, then doc, I'll let you guys get back to work. You got important things to do to help my mother. Thank you, doc. Okay. Absolutely. Take care. We'll Appreciate keep you updated. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right. Stay bye. Safe.